Howdy folks, and welcome back to Subnautica with the Mighty Jingles. And we did leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger in the last episode, where I had just committed what could potentially have been a serious error of judgement. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a bigger knife. Are you here to play? Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Okay, it seems I'm not actually going to die just yet. That, boys and girls, is the Sea Emperor Leviathan. Wait, what? Predators? Oh. Huh. Bone sharks. Stalkers. But they're not hostile. I'm trying to get close enough to this thing to give it a good scan, but it's deceptively quick. And, uh, wow, look at that. Ah, and it's leaving a trail of Enzyme 42 behind it. Well, it seems pretty obvious that this is the mature Sea Emperor Leviathan that the Space Vikings were talking about. Yep, Enzyme 42 everywhere. And there are the vents. So this, you can see the peeper fish. They're getting sucked in from the surface down to this aquarium where they're becoming a host for the enzyme generated by, well, her. And then recycled back up to the surface. And it's this that is allowing life to, well, if not exactly flourish, then at least survive in the volcanic crater where I crash landed. Everything outside of that volcanic crater is a dead zone, inhabited by nothing other than ghost leviathans. Huh. Oi, missus, any chance of a cure? No, it's not going to be that easy, is it? Huh. Right, so... What's the problem here? Basically, as far as I understand it, she is the last of her kind, and she's very, very old and can no longer breed. There's nobody for her to breed with, and even if there were, she's now sterile and can't lay any more eggs. And, well, yeah, okay, she's producing this enzyme, but she can't have long left, so... That's not a long-term solution to the problem of the bacterial contamination infesting this planet. What's this? Uh-huh. Those look like eggs to me. Let's get them scanned. Yep, see Emperor eggs. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. What's the problem? It's likely that ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary considerably. Oh, hello. I didn't touch them, honest. What's the problem? <laughs> I swear I didn't touch them. Wait, is something there I can scan? Oh, the incubator. Oh, right, so they're trying to incubate the eggs. So now what's the problem? Hatching enzymes. Okay, so these aren't the correct conditions for the eggs to hatch, so the aliens were trying to produce hatching enzymes to, well, I suppose, fool the eggs into thinking that they were in the correct environment, and therefore make them hatch. 
All right. What's up here? Looks like another teleporter arch. I can scan it. Aquarium arch. Let's have a look. Likely served as an access point to the surface of the planet. So they've built an arch down here. Let's have a think about this. We've got sea emperor eggs, but they won't hatch without hatching enzymes. And right next to the egg incubator, there's a teleport arch to the surface. So the facilities exist to get whatever's inside those eggs. Hopefully, Sea Emperor Leviathan Young, so they can establish a breeding population and distribute Enzyme 42 across the entire planet. And we've got the facility in the shape of that aquarium teleporter arch to get them from this aquarium up to the surface where they can do some good. The problem is getting those eggs to hatch. Well, first off, let's try actually powering up this incubator and see what happens. My young Ooh. need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Okay. What does she want me to do? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Cheers, big mama. She's cleared the archway. Ah, there's a spot there that needs an ion cube. Jeez, I hope I have a spare. Yep. Let's get this arch powered up. May as well see where it leads. With the passage you have opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. There it is! New blueprints for the hatching enzymes. Right. So. Well, let's see. Oh, I'm running out of air. <laughs> see a press life cycle. Y you know what? Let's go and find something to breathe first, and we'll worry about that later. And it looks like we've just transitioned to an area that's only 168 metres down. That's good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, before I run out of air. Come on, faster. And we are... Oh. Oh, I'm hearing warpers. Let's move, let's move, let's move. We're only 130 metres down. This, I think this is the... Um, the big space cannon on the island. Certainly looked like it. Yep. Oh, that's handy. Because this is where I need to go to turn that bloody thing off so I can actually build my escape rocket and get out of here. Right. So we need to synthesize hatching enzymes in order to convince those eggs to hatch and then go through that aquarium teleporter arch to get back up to the surface. So where am I going to get hatching enzymes from? What do I need? Where's, where's, the, where's the blueprint for it? Let's have a look. Wait, this is the data bank. I need to be looking in blueprints. There we go. Right, hatching enzymes. Where are you? All right. Fungal samples, sea crown seed, eye stalk seed, ghost weed seed. So, I basically just need to hack at plants to extract the seeds and then combine them and synthesize the hatching enzyme. Where am I going to find these plants? <laughs> I've never heard of most of them. I'll cut a very long story short. It took me hours. 
to actually find the various different plants that I needed. Some of them are actually relatively easy. Um, some of them, not so much. The Ghost Crown, in particular, is the second most rare plant on this entire planet, with the most rare plant being the Cove Tree down in the Lost River, near the thermal power station that I built, uh, only one of which exists. Ghost Crown seeds can be found in various different biomes, but you will be lucky if you find more than two of them in the, I think, three biomes where they exist. But there is a significantly easier way of finding the seeds that you require for this hatching enzyme than doing it the way I did it. All of those teleporters back in the alien containment facility, each one of them takes you to one of the biomes where you can find each one of the seeds. So that is definitely the quick way to find the various different components that you need for the hatching enzyme. Just pick a teleporter arch in the containment facility, go through it, and you shouldn't have to go too far to find one of the seed samples. Once you've done that, back through the teleporter arch to the containment facility, pick the next teleporter arch, and just repeat the process. Another top tip, the ghost weed, which we've already mentioned, is very, very hard to find. But in the bottom of the aquarium in the containment facility, where the Sea Emperor Leviathan is swimming around, there is a cave, and inside that cave you can find ghost weed, sorry, not ghost weed, ghost crown samples, which will save you a lot of time, because even if you're in the right biome, for finding ghost crown samples, that stuff is as rare as rocking horse shit, and you'll still probably take some time finding it. So that should save you a lot of time. Of course, even with the hatching enzyme synthesized, there is one other thing that we're going to need to do, and that's build our escape rocket. So let's get that started. First, the launch platform. This thing isn't actually part of the rocket itself, but we're going to be building the rocket on this platform. And it's bloody huge. But it's done. Well, it's a start. Right then, what next? There's a terminal up ahead. Let's go and take a look. So, now we have to build the gantry, which requires plasteel, copper wire, and lubricant. All right, that's not too difficult. Again, this isn't actually the rocket. This is just the boarding gantry for actually getting into the rocket. But we're going to get it started. It's just a big elevator, basically. Let's go and take a look while the nanobots are feverishly beavering away. That's where the rocket's going to go. And that's the boarding gantry. Coming along nicely. Almost done. Don't really want to step onto it until it is done. I might fall through it. And there it is. Job done. So how about this actual rocket itself? Let's see what we need. Please be something I can easily do. Nickel, aerogel, wiring kit, and yet more plasteel. All right. No, that's that's actually quite doable. I've got most of that stuff, or if I don't have it, I have easy access to most of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get the booster stage completed. Got everything we need for the boosters. Go, go, gadget nanobots. Build me some rocket boosters. Fly, my pretties. That is some size. How much more is this rocket actually going to require? I can't help but get the feeling that it's kind of like when you're climbing a hill. You keep thinking you've reached the ridge, and then there's just another ridge beyond it. 
There, rocket booster's complete. Let's go and take a quick look. Okay, so hopefully that's also the main engine. As well as the booster cells. Let's, oh, those are the... That's where the nanobots live. Okay. Right, what's next? Uh, fuel reserve. Jeez. Okay. Uh, crystalline sulfur. Ion power cells. Kyanite. Plasteel ingots. I might have to actually go digging for some of those. I think I've only got one piece of kyanite. And you know where you find kyanite, don't you? So it's back into the prawn suit, through the nearest teleporter arch. It takes me straight back to the avian containment facility, which happens to be at a convenient depth of around 1400 meters in the deep lava zone where there's all kinds of kyanite just, well, lying around waiting to be picked up. Just make sure there's nothing nearby that's going to start munching on my perfectly formed gnomish arse. Grab yourself some blue crystal. Gonna need some ion power cells as well though. Luckily, I happen to have a cyclops that's powered almost exclusively by ion power cells now that I just... well it pains me to say it but I don't really need the cyclops anymore. If I want to get to and from this alien containment facility, I can just use the teleport archers. I don't actually have to travel. There's absolutely no point in using the Cyclops to get to and from the surface anymore. And it's not like I can take it with me in the escape rocket. And I have to admit, that does bring a, a manly tear to my eye. <laughs> the idea of abandoning the Cyclops that served me so well. Especially given the amount of time and effort I've expended on actually building this thing up. But... Sadly, she is surplus to requirements, so we're just going to abandon her down here. We're going to strip her of everything useful first, of course. Principally, two ion power cells, which we need to construct... Uh, you know, I've even forgotten what it was. We've built the booster. Ah, the fuel reserve. Um, you'll do. Didn't say it had to be a fully charged power cell. Right, that should be everything we need to build ourselves the Neptune Fuel Reserve. Goodbye, old girl. Gonna miss you. There's just one further thing that I need to do here in the alien containment facility because I have now synthesised those hatching enzymes. Yep, nothing in storage I'm gonna need. Let's use the brain coral to uh, top off our oxygen. <sighs> Let's get this done. There it is. Oh. Please don't be upset. <laughs> there they are. Oh, they're cute. Little babies. So, uh, I hatched those eggs for you. Oh, well, we can scan them as well. No, not the knife. Not the knife. That would be... That would... Uh, no. That might upset Mama. Stay still. CM Prejuveniles. Oh. Wow, these things take some scanning. Come on. This is a momentous occasion. Hold still for the camera. There it is. See Emperor Juveniles. Okay. This specimen is healthy. Well, that's good to know. So... My oh, here we go. Are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Oh. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet... I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Wait, what about the cure? <laughs> Come on! We had a deal, damn it! Don't, you can't die on me! Come on, I hatch you young, you give me the cure. Oh, 
Well, it, that can't be it. Hey, you, snot-nosed brat. Get... Oh, God, it's gone. She's not looking too healthy, is she? Oh, wait, what are those? Is that? Let's have a look. Refined Enzyme 42, this is it. Woohoo! Damn, it's sticky. Oh, oh, oh. Is this it? Is this it? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that looked painful. Self scan. Come on. Yay! <laughs> We're cured! Oh, well, now there's no longer anything preventing me from turning off the Space Viking gun platform, which is the only thing stopping me from getting into that escape rocket. Well, that and the fact that I haven't actually finished building the rocket yet, but that's a mere technicality. The, the major issue is infected individuals cannot interact with the gun control station. And now, I am not an infected individual. And I can hear warpers, but I don't care, because the warpers are quarantine enforcement units. They only attack things that are infected. And I'm no longer infected. So I am going to shut this bad boy down. That's the control station. Last time I was here it gave me a jab and said, no, bugger off, you're infected. We don't like your sort around here. This time... Ow! Come on. Hey! Job done. Station powering down. So that's turned off the gun. Now the only thing I need to do is get that rocket complete and we can get our asses out of here. Oh, so, yes, fuel reserve. Off you go. This thing is big. But I suspect I ain't finished yet. We've got the launch platform, we've got the boarding gantry, we've got the booster rockets, now we've got the fuel reserve. I can't help but feel that some sort of cockpit is missing. I hope it's just the cockpit, because I, I'm getting kind of impatient. <laughs> What's next? Yes, the cockpit. Cyclops shield generator. Are you kidding me? <sighs> All right. Looks like we're going back to the Cyclops. <laughs> But it's all in a good cause. Luckily, I remember where I parked it. Now this might hurt a little because it's bloody hot out there. Yep, but... Well, I don't have far to go. And I do have the reinforced diving suit, so I didn't actually take a huge amount of damage. Hello, old girl. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. <laughs> actually, there's just, there's just one more thing I need. Yeah, that shield generator. Well, it's not like you need it anymore. Right, back to the launch platform. Go, go, gadget nanobots! Build your Uncle Jingles a cockpit. And this should be the last part of the rocket, so I think we're going to take a chance. Get ourselves on board this uh, boarding gantry. And hopefully I don't have to come back down and build something else. This thing is huge. It's almost done. Neptune One rocket online. Suitably epic music for a suitably epic occasion. Woohoo! He said, jumping for joy. Right. Oh, we're so close. This is all very nice. What's this? Auxiliary power unit. All right. Turn that on. What's this? Let's actually shut the door. That, oh, we can't shut the door. That seems a little lax, doesn't it? I mean... <laughs> I 
hydraulic systems online communications array I'm a little concerned about the fact that we're about to board a spaceship and I can't shut the door <laughs> I mean, that seems like a bit of a miscalculation oh wait the door's closed okay good right now into the cockpit don't know what that was but it looks kind of important here it is what's all this about activate the life support system we should probably do that life support systems online, online. what's next prepare time capsule oh I've heard about this all of those time capsules that we've found are actually from other players you have to prepare a time capsule before you can leave so what would be useful let's leave them some rare stuff a bit of kyanite, some polyaniline some power cells why not and a fire extinguisher just because you know just for shits and giggles okay um, I only have the one screenshot so we're gonna give them that it's not very interesting but it's the only thing I have and I have to put a title and a message in see ya suckers <laughs> that'll do and a title I have to give it a title okay state that's not valid see ya wouldn't want to be ya <laughs> I'm getting out of here is that it state that's valid okay time capsule is ready what's next boot up the primary CPU also seems like a pretty good idea I think that's it woohoo launch this sucker take me home here we go I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm sure it's all very important yeah 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 yeah, yeah. come on get on with it strap yourselves in boys and girls it's gonna be a wild ride this gnome's going back to the salt mines whoa There it goes. Good luck to whoever finds that. Looks like we're breaching atmosphere. Oh, that's a debris field. That's, uh, oh, that's my ship. <laughs> that's why we needed the shield generator. Oosh. Uh oh. Oh, that can't be good. Don't you dare. Field clear. Oh, we made it. Performing gravity turn maneuver. I love this, by the way. I love the fact that they're actually giving you some kind of payoff for completing the game, rather than just giving you a game over, congratulations, end screen. And look at that view. Nearest interstellar phase gate. That's it. We're going home. Engaging ion boosters in three. Look at that. Two, one. <laughs> the salt mines await we've done it we have completed subnautica what is a wave without the ocean a beginning without an end they are different but they go together now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. That was awesome. I can't begin to tell you how much fun I had playing this game. It's just a work of art from start to finish. And now, of course, that we've finished the YouTube video series, which I was playing on freedom mode, and I didn't have to worry about hunger and thirst, uh, I can get back to doing the live stream where I'm actually playing in survival mode and I can die of hunger and thirst without having to worry about any spoilers for the video series. They are planning on releasing some DLC for this game and I will definitely be getting that and playing that through as well. In the meantime, 
I need to get my interplanetary exploration itch scratched, and that of course means we're going to be seeing the long-awaited return of the Lone Echo playthrough. Now if you do get to this stage and you complete Subnautica, I highly encourage you to watch through the credits until the very end, because it's a bit like a Marvel Avengers movie in that respect. If you do not want any spoilers, stop watching the video now. If you're already playing Subnautica and, and you don't want the spoiler of the reveal of what's going to happen at the end of the credits, stop watching the video now. Thank you for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll catch you next time. But for everybody else, let's just wait and give them a minute, make sure they're gone. Okay. Do you remember earlier on, very early on in the video series, we were informed that everything we're picking up on this planet was the property of the Altera Corporation and we would be billed for it upon return to Altera headquarters? Yeah. Welcome home to Altera. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. Shit. Don't you peasants know who I am? <laughs> Take care, folks. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.